explainhelp.co.uk Hi and welcome to another explainhelp.co.uk video. This video is a third uh, video in the series of the Tulis A319 flight management computer support videos. In this video we're going to look at how you program a standard instrument departure. Programming a standard instrument departure is very straightforward and uh, we shall go for it now. So, what you do first of all is um, this is your flight management computer down here. Let's um, make that a bit bigger so you can see it. And also we are going to uh, bring up the map display as well, which is this one here. Again, you can click on that and that will also be displayed. Right, so now we've got that up there. One more thing we will do is we will go to your dials up here next to the autopilot area and we're going to turn that to plan and we'll turn this one to um, turn that one to 20 initially so to program a standard instrument departure on the flight management computer click on flight plan or F plan you'll now see that you on your screen it says on there EGNM flight plan discontinuity and EGGD EGNM and EGGD are the ICAO codes of the departure and arrival airports. Those codes have been pulled in from the init page that you have programmed in the previous video to this. So, to program the SID, all you do is you click on the button to the left of EGNM, you then click departure and you then um, choose a runway. Well, th I'm going to choose the day. Um, the runway I'm going to go for is going to be um, f runway 14. Yeah, let's just double check. I'm just looking at um, Navigrav as I talk to you on this one. So we're going to choose runway 14. This one up here and from runway 14 we are going to choose a pole to x-ray departure so this is your SIDS down here and we're going to choose a pole to x-ray departure pole is simply um, the, flight, uh, the um, standard instru instrument departure routing will take you out to pole hill which is the course of VOR and uh, waypoint as well so, um, transition altitude, no, we won't worry about that for a minute. Um, so, just before we click on insert, top of the screen, you've got departure from EGNM using runway 14, using the SID of pole to x-ray. We're happy with that. So we're gonna click on insert. And now what you see is on here, this map has now come alive. Um, there's our airplane there. And this green solid line is your SID, your standard instrument departure. So, the basics of what a SID is. A SID is a pre-agreed um, flight plan, pre-approved flight plan with air traffic control that um, the airplane has to follow to um, take it out to meet the airways. Um, SIDs are commonly used to um, reduce the noise of the outbound aircraft so that uh, the aircraft is routed over sort of less populated areas so that obviously the people on the ground don't suffer too much from the noise. Um, more or less what a SID is, it's a bit deeper than that but um, that's as far as I'm taking it. So if we click on the range dial here and you can now see that we're now at a 40 mile range and you can see the SID will take us to the uh, southeast out of the airfield. There'll be then a turn to the right and the track will be followed down to the Pole Hill VOR. And that is all a SID is, simple as that. Um, once you've obviously uh, programmed your SID in, 
you would then uh, program your onward airways that you want to use and your waypoints that will be talked about in the next video so thank you for watching hope you now understand what a st standard instrument departure is thanks for watching